Okay, hello everybody, really quick. I just wanted to let you know that I'm actually, I'm posting this as I'm also posting um, Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, I don't know how long that will last, um, because the games are, they seem to be pretty different gameplay wise. Um, but I am wanting to play this at the same time. Um, so I'm going to attempt, it won't be probably very regular. Um, I'll just upload it when I can. Um, but I really, I'm enjoying Inquisition and I really like to continue Origins as well. So, um, so there's that. So I am playing this, I, I started this one first, and I didn't upload it, and then I started Inquisition. Um, so these are older than Inquisition at this point, so I'll probably repeat myself a little bit or something. Um, but yeah, I just want to let you know, um, chronologically I did start this one first, and I'm only uploading it now. Um. But yeah, uh, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in a second. Thanks. Okay, hello everybody, and welcome to Dragon Age Origins. My name is Rabid Squirrel, and I just got done with the fa or Fallout. <laughs> I was looking at Fallout. It was this or Fallout? <laughs> I just got done with the uh, Mass Effect Three walkthrough, um, and I'm gonna go a similar but somehow very opposite direction uh, with Dragon Age Origins, made by Bioware as well, but fantasy. <laughs> So, going from space game to fantasy game, which are always good. I love, I love these games. Um, and I've never played Dragon Age Origins. A while back, I kind of started it and created a character, but I and I, I, I don't think I even played any of it except maybe like the first like five minutes. Um, but yeah, that was when I was just like looking around at, at games, and I think this one was either for free or like discounted on Xbox Gold so but it is a Bioware game and so I am looking forward to it because um, I love their stuff I haven't heard much about Dragon Age as I have about Mass Effect but um, let's get to it okay I had a little bit of trouble there with being freaking online so I just I'm playing offline now um, but I was just thinking I don't even know if there are actually dragons in this game like I kind of hope they are but like I'm so used to Skyrim where it's like the game is called Skyrim but it's about dragons it doesn't need dragon in the title. <laughs> Sweet. A background I select will determine which of six distinct, six distinct opening stories I play through. will also affect how characters respond to you throughout the game. And so is the golden city blackened with each step you take into my hall. Marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. Canticle of Threnodes, 813. Revelations, fire and brimstone. Looks like. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the darkspawn into our world. Hubris means pride. I don't know if the mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead so, they destroyed it. Something I learned in philosophy class. There you go. I learned something there. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the darkspawn. Just your peacock feathers. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. That's creepy. The dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall. Yikes. And from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Yeah, being a dwarf means you live closer to hell than everybody else, I guess. Whoa. Lord of the Rings! Whoa. Until 
until the Grey Wardens nice. came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. How is that fire not spread? What? Where are the people? We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Ooh, I see it too, Maker, man. help us all. Alright. Maybe I feel inclined to just make fun of, a little bit more fun of this game because I'm not as enthralled at this point yet with it as I was with... Um, I can't compare it. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to compare it to Mass Effect. Um, I am looking up really quick um, when it was made <laughs> because uh, let's see November 3rd 2009 and when I'm gonna one comparison to Mass Effect <laughs> uh, oh my gosh I just, sorry, I'm on my phone looking stuff up, and there's a rumor two days ago that says Mass Effect 4 should be at E3 2015, planned 2016. You guys have no idea how excited I am for that. I do think it's kind of stupid that they're calling it Mass Effect 4 because I don't think it's actually going to have. Um, I mean, it's going to be the Mass Effect universe, but it's not going to be. I think they, they I think they wa I watched the trailer and it said it's not going to be Shepard. I'm not talking about this. I'm not I'm trying to see. Oh, let's see. Okay, so Mass. I I, I want to compare the graphics in a way because Mass Effect was made in 2007, and I when I first when I first looked at this before, I wasn't sure if it was before or, or it was just like the way I was looking at it then. But the graphics are not nearly as good in my opinion. Maybe I've got rose colored glasses for Mass Effect, but it's like oh, the graphics aren't that great. <laughs> um Men and women in Feral then are generally regarded as equals. Most genders are evenly represented in most organizations, noble houses, and military forces. Good, got that out of the way. Which one's a girl? Okay, I was like, do I was it supposed to like just look at it? But no, you have to like click on it. Okay, um, human, the most numerous and the most divided of all the races, only four times have they ever united under a single cause, the last being centuries ago. The religion and the chantry play a large part in human society. It distinguishes them culturally from elves and dwarves more than anything else. Humans can be warriors, rogues, or mages. You get plus one strength, plus one dexterity, plus one magic, plus one cunning. Okay. Elf, once enslaved by humans. See, this is interesting to me. I feel like this Dragon Age... I respect it for this and that they go a very different route than most games. Usually the elves are like see themselves as superior to humans and are seen by humans to be superior even if humans are like chaff chaffing, chafing, chafing at the bit and like oh all the surly, they're usually the surly underdogs and so that's why you're like yeah that's why I choose to be a human usually in Skyrim is for one thing I've since I was a kid you always wanted you know when you were younger you wanted to be like an elf or anything but a human but when I got older I was like you know I think it's almost worth more to do with the underdog class because the humans don't usually have a lot of the racial benefits that like elves or dwarves or orcs do in some things. They're just scrappy humans, right? And so I'm like, I think it's almost worth more to try and be
beat a game or play a game as a human being the underdog, but now Dragon Age is like flipping that on its head, so I'm like unsure of myself now. Um, once enslaved by humans, most elves of all but lost their culture, scrounging and impoverished living in the slums of human cities. It's just, it's so crazy. Like, I think it's a really bold decision to do, is to have the elves be the underdog and like impoverished and slaves and like, it's crazy. Only the nomadic Dallas tribes still cling to their traditions, living by the bow and the rule of their old gods as they roam the ancient forests, welcome nowhere else. Elves can be warriors, rogues, or mages. Plus two willpower and plus two magic. Dwarf. Rigidly bound by caste and tradition, the dwarves have been waging a losing war for generations, trying to protect the last stronghold of their once vast underground empire from the darkspawn. Dwarves are very tough and have a high resistance to all forms of magic, thus preventing them from becoming mages. Plus one strength, plus one dexterity, plus two constitution, and a 10% chance to resist hostile magic. Yeah, from what I've seen of the Dragon Age games, the dwarves can't do magic, but they always get a ten they always get a magic resistance bonus. Well, let's let's see what does she look like. Oh, so she, the human is tall, taller than the elf. Okay, so weird. I kind of like the sound of a dwarf, but we'll have to see. Cause I, I'm not a mage and I'm not a rogue. I'm, I would have to go with the warrior class. Dwarf commoner, born caseless in a land where rank is everything, bound as a lackey and thug of a local crime lord. You have spent your life invisible until chance thrusts you into the spotlight, where you can finally prove whether you will be defined by your actions or your birth. Dwarf noble, as the favored child of the dwarven king, you proudly take up your first military command only to learn that deadly intrigues the deadly intrigues of family and sycophants psychophants uh, may pose a greater danger than even than even the battlefield well that one sounds boring i don't know if i want to be a dwarf though because again i hear through the because the dragon age games they're kind of similar to mass effect i'm doing it again okay where, where there is a romance line and i have a I don't know how being a dwarf is gonna work out in that, but you know what? I don't know. I, she looks cool, and I've never been a dwarf ever, so. And I like this one. I like the underdog type thing, but it's not just an underdog. It's it's definitely an interesting, a little bit of a twist on the underdog. I like that it's like until a trance puts you in the spotlight where you can prove whether or not you don't like. You're defined by your actions or your circumstances, and I like I like that choice. I like I like that you can choose that. Let's try that one then. Nadia. Oh crap, a name. Um. <laughs> I like to do names that are cool. I don't like to do my name. <laughs> uh, I mean, my name's cool, but. I like to do names that fit into the world itself, you know? And usually I'll, like, go look up a bunch of names. Um, I don't know, maybe this is weird, but I, I mean, again, <laughs> I just played, I just finished Mass Effect 3. And so I've always, ever since I've heard this name, I thought it was really beautiful. Erica, I, I don't know if that's how you spell it, that's how I'm going to spell it. Uh, Erica, it's the name of Thane's uh, wife, my romance interest from Mass Effect 2 and, and Mass Effect 3. And maybe it's kind of weird because he's my romance interest and I'm naming my character after his wife, but his first wife, she died. I, oh, should I, uh, is that a spoiler? It's not a spoiler, I don't think. <laughs> but. Greetings. Hi. Preset, okay. Uh, next, what does next mean? Just keep going. I don't want you to do that. Uh, K. What's the difference? Oh, is that one a little more shadowy? Or is it, yeah, okay, yeah, because it's it's kind of like Skyrim, where you can just change how old you look. These ones all look like. I mean, they make her. She looks young. Skin tone, but it is a little. But it's like it's like this one's a little more 
reddish. This one's really pale. And that one just seems like the smoothest one. I don't know, I kinda like kinda like that one. I might be uh, fa either skipping parts of this or fast forwarding or something. I don't think I have a fast forward capability on my recording software, but. Or my editing software. Oh my good night! I didn't know they could be yellow! Whoa, dark, okay. Because, yeah, I was like expecting it to go from like white to like black. <laughs> For, you know, like from like very light to very dark like a gradiated scale, but that yellow just comes out of nowhere. Wow, so you can be super pale. Norwegian. Or, no, I'm just kidding. I have a friend who's like, her ancestors are from Norway, and she's practically opaque in the winter time. Like, you can see her veins. It's kind of crazy. And she does not tan very well. And this is what happens when you get a spray tan. I would like that if it was a little bit lighter, like I... Should we be super pale? Or super dark? I think, like, I don't... her eye makeup's really throwing me right now, but... the yellow there's like almost no difference between these two this one gives her more color like her cheeks and stuff I don't think it I don't, I don't picture a dwarf being tan you know I wish I could get like an overall effect. I like to pick an eye color that really stands out. do have eye makeup, I tend to just have it be like a kind of a dark color so that it kind of gives a little bit of depth to their eyes. That's kind of cool looking. I don't like it to stand out too much. What? Whoa. What did that do? Now I have ruined everything. Just give me a dark one. So that's like, it's not like the intensity, it's like, what kind of blue or something, you know, like it goes from like blue to red. So does that one on the right, on the left side stay? Well, my left side. That's cool. I wonder if her tattoos would be different if she had a clan. Oh, so that's without one. How do you do? Hey, hey, hey. Greetings. Greetings. Charmed. <laughs> I lost the spell. Not working. Move aside, please. Greetings. Oh, my spell! What does it take to kill these things? <laughs> You're in my way. Greetings. No, it is gone. My weapon does nothing. How do you do? Oh, uh, where's 
my head. New weapon. Greetings. I need some other attack. Charmed. I lost the spell. Not working. Move aside, please. Greetings. Oh, my spell! What does it take to kill these things? You're in my way. So does this, like, affect my personality, too? Charmed. I actually, it like... It didn't work. Not working. Shoo. Greetings. Oh, my spell! My weapon does nothing. Charmed. Kinda like sultry. I'm actually gonna take a go. I'm gonna take a look at some of the others. I mean, maybe this is, this is gonna be way too long, but I'm gonna go customize an elf and a human too. I can. Um... Yeah. Um. Oh my god, human. Warrior. I can only be a human noble? Boring. Born to wealth and power, second only to royalty. You find your training in both diplomacy and battle, put the test as your brother leads the bulk of your family's forces to war in the south. That's boring. You only get one option? Or. Ah! Wielding a power as dangerous as it is potent, you will not know that magic is a curse for those lacking the will to control it. You anxiously await your harrowing, the one chance to prove yourself against the demons lurking within and without. Succeed or be slaughtered by the knights who warred against your kind. Oh, interesting. As a rogue, I still get the same option as a human, or as a uh, sure. Greetings. Greetings. Ah, okay. Greetings. Greetings. I have lost my concentration! Oh, God. Charmed. Yeah, oh. Greetings. Ugh, my spell. You're in my way. Goodbye. Hm. Greetings. Well, that didn't work. I don't like your face.
Greetings. So I think I've got her. Uh, I actually like this uh, customization better than Mass Effect. I'm just going to be comparing them. I can't help it. Um, I feel like there's not more options. I just feel like the options work together better. Uh, I feel like it's very difficult to make a good looking character in Mass Effect sometimes and you got to spend a long time messing with all the tiny little details, which sometimes, you know, can like lose what you're doing and then you're like I shouldn't have messed with it because then you know it's usually I'm messing with it and I shouldn't be but uh. she... what do you think I think she looks good I've never played as a dwarf, and I actually went, I kind of tested out a human character too, just like, just like tried to customize one, and I didn't like it, like I didn't like, I think her face, for lack of a better word, I think she looked really cute. <laughs> she just got this perky little face, and I like it. Uh, yeah, and I like, it's like a round, like happy little face. The human woman's face was like really long, I was like, yeah! Should I just stop messing with her? And I change. I, I like to go usually for like a very vibrant eye color. That's mostly what I focus on. Um, and I had a blue for a while, but I don't know. I just like the idea of um, like the fire burning inside and that kind of coming, like you know, like the willpower or whatever. And I like the idea of that coming out in the eyes. So I like this like amber color. It's very nice. And I changed her tattoo, I think to the I think it's the original just black color. I think it makes everything out, like it makes her face pop out a little bit more. Portrait. Uh there we go. That upwards looking thing's a little weird. Give you, I kind of like that one. I like that they give you the option. 
I like that, uh, that one. Okay, and then... Voice. And I was looking at the voices, and they are all kind... I have lost the spell! I should do something else! I should do something else! How do you do? Yeah, the faces are Damn. weird. Lost the spell. Greetings. Oh, that didn't work. Yeah. Greetings. Yeah. I cannot cast it! Oh, uh. Charmed. I like that one. I lost the spell. Oh, bother. I need something new. But I don't know if this is, like, her personality or not. Greetings. Oh, my spell! What does it take to kill these things? <laughs> You're in my way. I kind of, I like either sultry or violent, but I'm like, if this, either way, I'm like, I'm not a, I don't see her, and I'm not a, like, it's like, sultry person or a violent person, it's like, uh, but the other ones just sounded weird. Charmed. I love that. I think that's so funny. To me, it's sarcasm, like, a little bit of, a little bit of sarcasm there, and I like that. I feel like she's probably, she's probably quiet, but plucky, you know? as a person, so. Greetings. But also, you know, she could be, you know, just the take care of herself type. Oh, my spell! You don't have a spell because you're a dwarf. My weapon does nothing. You're in my way. Charmed. <laughs> I lost the spell. Not working. I think I'm gonna go with Sultry. I think I like it the best. Alright, I think it fits her somehow. I don't know, I like it. Okay. Oh, points. Crap. I've never played as somebody short. It's gonna be kinda weird. It's gonna have to be taken into account. Strength. Measures a character's physical prowess and definitely affects the game. Damage character does physical combat. Also protects accuracy of melee attacks. It's essential for warriors. Protect the wish with two hand weapons. It's nearly as critical for rogues. Measure of agility, reflexes, and balance. Higher dexterity improves the character's chances to hit. This is kind of weird, like, putting, like, it's like Dark Souls, like, where you have, like, the D&D &D stuff. Makes character more like the dodge and coming blows and contributes to damage dealt by piercing weapons like daggers or arrows. Archery and dual weapon fighting styles demand high dexterity to master, making this a fair attribute for rogues. I figured this is... Oh, more stamina. Can't I just take all these points and put them in everything else? Determines how well character learns, learns and reasons. Most skills, such as herbalism or combat tactics, require a quick mind master. And an observant eye can more easily find pieces of enemy armor. Rogues benefit the most from the statistic as many of their class abilities, which attack rely on subtlety or reading the target, not raw strength. Constitution. Um. Well, let's at least put. One into strength, one into dexterity. I'd like my cunning to go up. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Yeah. At least maybe spread them out right now, and then as I specialize, I'll start putting them into specific things. So I can get that one, and I already have that one. Okay. Oh, okay, um, passive. Characters influence will help commit to others to change their views. Strength contributes to a more intimidating character, whereas cunning contributes to a more persuasive character. Uh, I know in Mass Effect, having conversational skills is really important. Trap making. Stealing. Eh. Uh, survival can take presence of direct features below the character's own skill level. The skill also grants a small bonus to nature resistance. Herbalism can I make simple potions, poultices. Uh, poison making. So I can get, I have combat training, and I can get the second one. Heroes complete basic combat training, wars and roads gain access to history, but with talents, mages can take more damage from attack corners. Okay, I see. Warriors and roads gain access to second tier weapon talents, as well as bonus sound regeneration, mages take more attack, blah blah blah. In combat tactics, 
Oh, I gain a combat tactics slot. What does a combat tactics do? <laughs> I only have, look, I only spend one point. Uh, I'm gonna have to learn how to be persuasive eventually. Survival. Uh, I like the look of the survival. Or improved. Jeez. that one I can oh greater health and reduce the fatigue for wearing an armor tries to make each attack count sacrificing attack speed for a bone for a bonus to attack as well as increase chances for critical hits uh, that's just the worst of so dual weapons weapon and a shield two-handed I probably won't do two-handed it would be fun to do dual weapons, but I think... Say a dwarf is pretty... I mean, the stereotypical dwarf, anyway. Is a... Two-handed weapon. But... I've got this one already. burning in here. I hope not. So I already have one in dual weapons. And this one that here charged with both weapons simultaneously to has cause more damage. The character cannot inflict regular critical hits or backstabs. The character is more mission weapons now deals closer to normal damage bonus with the offhand weapon. Oh. Whoa. We can pin somebody to the ground. Hmm. I do like archery. I like to have ranged and close. I want a weapon and a shield. I liked when I played Skyrim, the first character I had was a Nord with a sword and shield, and that was fun. Character I'm using right now is a uh, is a dual weapon wielder, dual dagger wielder. Um, I don't know. I'm definitely feeling an archery one though, so we should probably look at that. Um, so this is a close range one. Okay, that might be useful. This slows the movement speed if it doesn't pin him down. I'll definitely want that if I'm going to be doing any archery, because that would be a pain to get interrupted in the middle. then this will probably be important. Oh, good! Immune to friendly fire! Woo! Hard nightmare. Hmm. Friendly fire inflicts half damage. Our player's noob. Noob. I'll do normal. I've never played this, so we'll see. Members who fall in combat could sustain a serious injury, which cause penalties that can only be cured with an injury kit or certain high-level spells. Holy crap! This is like complicated injuries that are. Blah, blah, blah. Press A to start basic attacks. Deep beneath the Frostback Mountains sits Ozamar, largest and proudest of the two remaining dwarven cities. 
once the seat of an underground empire, Orzammar now stands alone, cut off from the world by the Darkspawn, still clinging to the memory of its former glory. Below the vast statues and gilded halls where the noble families play at politics, the lower castes live in their shadows, scurrying to serve like their ancestors before them. Below that is you. What? You are castless, the dirty secret staining Orzammar's perfect society, forced, along with your sister, sister, to sell your services to the crime lord Barat. Have a sister? To the rest of Orzammar, you are proof that the castless deserve their fate. But you know you do what you have to, the same as everyone, just to survive. I agree with that. Reminds me of the I Victorians. can't keep gambling on you forever, precious. What are you got you? a sweet look. Shut up. Something to light a man on fire. <laughs> but you gotta make it count. This fits. Please, Barat. I don't want to do this in front of my sister. I'll kill you, man. Why I'm gonna kill you. not? She knows the slope of the land, don't you, girl? My sword will be in your throat momentarily. You told me a lot of things, not one of which meant more than a fart in the middens. Before me, your sister was just another duster. Now check her out. Braids down to here, gold calf teeth. She can recite elf poetry and play the string harp. Every man's dream. All she's got to do is find a lord, squeeze out some kid who looks like him, and we're all living the this easy life. This is ridiculous. Life no. Please, don't get involved. You know that never goes well. Uh, I don't like seeing him treat you that way. How much more does he think you can do? I don't like seeing him treat you that way. I'll treat her however I like. As long as you both eat off my plate. You keep your head down and say I to any job I decide what, is, is low enough for scum like you. Shut up. In return... I put out coins so you can doll yourself oh up gosh. and get a belly full what of some nobleman's rags. Then you both go free. And I get to join the family and be called my lord for the rest of the little You have high aspirations life. and I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> so what are you going to do? So what are you doing here? And her son will call you. Uncle will come visit on name days. We've kept our part of the deal. Is that like sarcastic or? Uh, I don't know. Uh... Checking on my investments, and right now, they don't bear much gold. I'm giving you another week, precious. If you haven't found a patron, you're back to sweeping streets. Like, actually but sweeping? I have. I've met someone. That is, I didn't want to promise, but he seemed interested. How? So get off her back. See, she's found someone I told you she would. Watch herself for it. We may not need you pretty soon. Ooh. So get off her back and tell me my job. I'm trying to draw attention away from her and to me. Your buddy Lesky's waiting outside. He knows what I'll need from you today. Don't even think about bungling this job. Your whole family's on loose sand with me right now. And I know you don't have anywhere else to turn. I could just go up. I don't know why I haven't just gone up and out. I'm sorry you had to see that. I don't like that. Like, I do not like the fact that my sister is being forced to, like, prostitution. Brett expects too much from me. You don't have to hide anything from me, Rika. I've seen it before and I'll see it again. I can't stand the way he treats us. You don't have to hide anything from me. I've always tried, though. At least I've kept you from buying your future with what's between your legs. Oh, God. I should have told you. Barat's been warning me ever since two of his other girls found patrons at Lord Why? Harrowmont's reception. Why They've been getting does it have to already. be this way? Lord Rooston gave Elsie a surface silk gown and she's not even pregnant. Barat's getting impatient. I want you to stop working for him. I wish I could. 
Just go and walk the deep roads until we find a magical crystal kingdom. Who's older, me or her? Live happily until the stones embrace. But it's not happening. You know the other options. Cleaning middens, begging, going to the surface. No. Unless you find a way to save us all from Darkspawn and become a paragon. We're pretty much on Barat's leash for life. Uh, I don't know why I can't join the army and fight Darkspawn. Someone like me can never actually be a paragon. It's not fair that Barat gets pushes around. Uh, I know why I can't, because I'm cast- I assume it's because I'm castless. You know how desperate the nobles are for more children. Oh, are they? They can barely field enough soldiers to hold the walls against the dark spawn. Oh. If I could give one of them a son, the whole house would celebrate. And we'd all be raised up to noble caste to join the family. It's what Barat's betting on. That's why he paid for my clothes, my voice lessons. He wants to share the reward. Did you say there was a noble who was interested? Yes. That is, I hope. He certainly seems charming. Why would they talk he to He treats a me like a real girl. lady. Caseless. Not just someone to tumble and forget. What has this like This is not okay. Like in real life, like I would have sliced anybody's throat. Like I would have sliced anybody's throat who touched my sister, you know? Like I mean I understand sometimes people get forced to that, but dang, this is like this is like a punch in the face, jeez. Who is he? I, I don't want to say, in case I'm wrong. It just seems too mad to think of one of the most important men in Orzammar with someone like me. You are very pretty, anyway, and you seem very nice. Time is resting, and I need to get dressed. These fashions will be the death of me. A hundred buttons on each sleeve. You like it. And Lesky's probably already outside waiting for you. I don't have any scabbards, my swords just float off my back. Uh, let's just keep talking. It's sheer folly. One more way the nobles protect their status. Yeah, they can't afford. They say castless soldiers are more danger to each other than to Darkspawn. That it's an insult to the smith to let us touch a fine-made weapon. Uh... Truly, they just don't wish to insult the warrior caste by showing that given the same opportunities, we could lead an army just as yeah, well. Just as for sure. Yeah, they say they seem like they need kids, so. Every year, more of the beasts come up from the deep roads. I've heard they've even been harrying the surface. Is anyone doing anything about it? Aye. They would even turn to humans for aid before us, it seems. What? There's really? been talk of an alliance against the Darkspawn. Even that the Grey Wardens have stepped up. But we don't have time for this now. Lesky must be waiting, and Barat won't like it if I'm late for my appointment. It's not fair. Money gives him power. He's got family on the surface, which means he can oh, smuggle yes? up lyrium and smithcrafts, and bring down silks, wines, and furs. And he played it smart. When he started expanding, he made sure it was only the castless he shook down for protection, so the guardsmen didn't care. Oh. Can Barat really follow through on his threats? So why does he care about hustling you some noble? And now he has everything a dwarf would want. Don't underestimate him. Barat has thugs who'd kill their own mothers just to work for him. What? Uh. It wouldn't be the paragon. first time. Garalon the Blood Risen was born castless, you know, before he went to the surface. And he came back and won the throne. Oh, impressive. Many paragons have humble origins. All that matters is that the assembly recognizes their achievements. And once they get that vote, they found their own house, and are as noble as if the ancestors themselves had made it so. <laughs> that would certainly surprise Mother. Imagine founding our own house. Keep dreaming. <laughs> uh, that would certainly surprise Mother. Oh, don't me. pay attention to her. She's just a She's still alive? Drunk. She also said you'd never learn to walk or stop dumping in the bed. Uh! Make something of yourself just to spite her. I'll do it for other reasons. Uh, 
Money gives him power. And he played it smart. When he started expanding, he made sure it was only the castless he shook down for protection. I hope there's more you want in life than to be some copper-plated crime lord. <laughs> You've still got the chance to get out of here. So do you. You can Dream get married. big. Be a paragon. Don't stop at becoming another Barat. That's not what I meant. Uh... I'll just... Okay, let's go. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you tonight. Foreshadowing! Okay. Oh, saving. Well, that was definitely an interesting beginning. Uh, do I, how do I search things? Okay. Uh, take all of it. I want all of it. What do I have? I don't, I don't know. I didn't look at it. Hmm. I moved pretty quick. That door is see-through. Oh, a person. A person. Uh, who's Whoa. that? Why are you bothering me? Oh, is that your mom? Rika? <laughs> it's the guardsman. You're under arrest for drunkenness. It's the king of Orismer. I heard you were single. Don't you sass me, you ungrateful brat. I made you, and I can make another just like you. Bothering me all the time. I've got important things to do here. We have the same Very eye color. important things. You're selling your daughter. You're useless. You're selling both your daughters. But better, even if a mom's a crap mom, a lot of times kids still, you know, for they hope for the best, you know, that maybe someday their mother will come around. But I guess I'll call this part here. Um that was definitely interesting. I'm excited to keep going and see where, see where this goes. Um, thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.